Hi, I'm Tracy Conti. I'm here at the North River Shipyard in Upper Nyack, New York, and I'm standing underneath the John D. McKean, which is a fireboat that served the New York City Fire Department as Marine One for almost 60 years. So our group is the Fireboat McKean Preservation Project. Um, it was formed in 2018 by a small group of uh, people who purchased the boat at auction in 2016. Um, realizing that the vision was to turn the boat into a museum ship and open it up to the public. Uh, so this is the John D. McKean's engine room. These are your fire pumps up forward and those are your main engines back aft. Those are your propulsion engines. Uh, right now we're working on just getting her all neatened up for work and uh, cleaning the hull out and getting it ready to be reskinned so she can be uh, safe for sea for the rest of her life. They're from 1954 and they still run like they were made yesterday. These are called engine order telegraphs, and this is before they had any sort of automation. You have an engineer standing down here, and on the bridge they have the same exact thing. Uh, and they would ring a bell and say full ahead, slow ahead, half ahead, whatever it would be. The boat responded to the Staten Island Ferry terminal fire, Hurricane Sandy, um, uh, responded on 9-11, carrying passengers over to New Jersey and then returning to actually pump water from the Hudson River onto the fires that were burning underneath the, the pile of rubble because the infrastructure had all collapsed. Um, when Captain Sully Sullenberger landed the plane on the Hudson River for Miracle on Hudson, this boat responded and, and rescued passengers and, and uh, towed the plane to the shore. Um, we're here um, because the boat needs some repairs and um, we have a nonprofit organization we're out here trying to raise money to complete the repairs so that we can turn the boat into a museum ship and open it up to the public for uh, rides and to share the history of the boat and the bravery of people who served on the boat. I can't wait to have this thing to be an operating museum again so it's uh, able to be enjoyed by everybody it's a great piece of New York history and a great piece of American history.